Hi, my name is Jessie Zhou, Product Marketer in the Analog and Interface Division here at Microchip Technology. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the MCP40D 1X Digital Potentiometer family and will demonstrate the steps of using the MCP401X EV Evaluation Board. A digital potentiometer, also known as Digipot, is a mixed signal device widely used in applications in which a variable or a parameter has to be adjusted or regulated. Microchip's MCP40D1X is a miniature digital potentiometer family offered in tiny 5 or 6 lead SC70 packaging. It comes with volatile memory, I2C interface, and it is available in single channel, 7 bit resolution with resistance values of 5K, 10K, 50K, and 100K ohm. To help system designers easily evaluate the performance of the MCP40D1X digital potentiometers, Microchip offers a simple and useful tool, the MCP401X EV Evaluation Board. The MCP401X EV Evaluation Board has been populated with a 10K ohm MCP40D18 device and allows customers to program and read the Digipod register. It can be used by either connecting with a picky serial analyzer or by jumpering the eval board into the customer's existing circuit. To start evaluation using the Picky Serial Analyzer, first plug the MCP401X EV evaluation board to the Picky Serial Analyzer. Connect the Picky Serial device to the PC, then start the Picky Serial GUI. In the Picky Serial Analyzer program, click on the Picky Serial Analyzer tab in the upper left corner. From the drop down menu, select Select Communication Mode, then select I2C Master. Click on the Pick His Serial Analyzer tab again, but this time select Configure Communications Mode. In the pop up window, make sure event markers and pull ups are enabled under Options. Voltage is configured to 5 volt, I2C bit rate set to 100 kHz, and Script Timeout is enabled and set to 3000 milliseconds. Click Save Changes. Use an oscilloscope or digital multimeter to measure the voltage between the ground plane and the wiper, which is the orange pin on the eval board. By default, the wiper should be mid-scale at POR, and the wiper voltage should be VDD over 2 or 2.5 volt. Now open the Script Builder window by selecting Communications, Script, and Script Builder. Double-click the pre-built Write Address AA script example. Change the second byte, which is the I2C slave address with read-write bit forced to write, to 7C. Third byte, which is the command code, to 00. And fourth byte, which is data value, to 7F. Then type in the script name and click on the Save Script button to save it for future use. Now click on the Execute Script button. This executes the script and updates the wiper value to 7F. The measured wiper voltage should be VDD or 4.94 volt now. Double click on the pre built read address AA script example. Modify the second byte, which is the I2C slave address with the read write bit forced to write to 7C. Third byte, which is the command code to 00. Fifth byte, which is the I2C slave address with read write bit set to write to 7D, and the last byte, which is the number of bytes to be read to 01. Type in the script name and click on the Save Script button. Execute the script now. The transaction window will be updated to indicate the execution of the script. The data value from wiper register is shown in the last line of the transaction window under the script details. Since we have already saved the MCP40D18 underscore write script in the previous example, change wiper value can be done by simply modifying the data byte in the saved script. Double click on the saved MCP40D18 underscore write script in the user I2C script column and change the false byte, which is the data byte, from 7F to 1F. Execute the script. From the digital multimeter, you can see the measured wiper voltage changes to one fourth of VDD or 1.23 volt. To view the read data, we run the saved MCP40D18 underscore read script. 
I hope this video is helpful and makes it easier for your evaluation of the MCP40D1X digital potentiometer family. For more information, please visit www.microchip.com/mcp401xev. Thanks for watching.